Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us. We are really excited you are here. Before we get started, we do have a few housekeeping items to note. First, if you have any questions at all, feel free to submit those through the Q&A button um, throughout the presentations at any time. The presenters are there and ready to assist and answer any questions you have. Your camera and microphone are off. You are muted and your video is off. The panelists can't see or hear you. There, were, there are more sessions happening. Feel free to sign up for more sessions from um, wonderful college representatives um, where you registered for this one. And this recording will be available a week from today at strivescan.com backslash Carolinas. We are currently in session B2, where my mouse is circling at the moment. And this will also be the order of presentations for tonight. So without further ado, I'll get out of the way and introduce our first presenter from Liberty University. All right. Good evening, y'all. Uh, my name is John Travis. I'm a missions representative with Liberty University. I did graduate from the university in 2018 and I met my wife at Liberty. Uh, so I do have a very personal connection to the university. Additionally, I'm from Lynchburg, Virginia, where the school is located. But enough about me. Let's talk about Liberty. It is one of the world's largest Christian universities with over 200 undergraduate degree programs housed by 15 different schools and colleges. And what you're seeing now is a list of all the schools where you can sign. Some programs that I always enjoy highlighting are School of Aeronautics, Business, Education, and Nursing. I highlight these because I do believe that these are areas where we do have some of the top programs in the country. Additionally, within these schools, we offer programs like pre-law, pre-med, pre-physical therapy, as well as pre-vet. And something we do recognize for students is, is it's important to feel seen, heard, and understood. And so our professors do play a large part in that process by offering 10 office hours weekly where you can come in and ask questions or seek additional guidance. You also have the opportunity to study in smaller classroom sizes. So you can see we have about a 21 to one student to professor ratio in class. Then in partnership with LU Send, we are able to offer study abroad opportunities. Liberty is a Division I school with 20 NCAA Division I sports, including football, basketball, baseball, softball, soccer, track and field, cross country, just to name a couple. And if your sport isn't offered at the Division I level, we also have 40 plus club sports teams. And if you're looking to have fun but still compete, uh, we do offer an additional 20 plus intramural sports. And for more information on our sports, if you're looking to walk on or try out, uh, visit libertyflames.com. Now, food is very important to me, and it is to our students as well. And as a result, Liberty has been recently rated number one in the U.S. for two years in a row because of our main dining hall. Uh, now, aside from that dining hall, we offer some retail locations, including four Chick-fil-A's within a five-mile radius of campus, three Dunkin' Donuts, as well as two Starbucks on campus. Now, with housing in mind, we have been rated number nine in the U.S. as a result of our three different dorm room styles, which uh, includes our classic dorm room style, which is that long hallway, two to three people per room, and a communal bathroom. The apartment style, which resembles a three bedroom, three bathroom apartment with a washer and dryer, as well as a full kitchen unit. And finally, a hotel style, which is like a two person hotel room with a private bathroom and controlled heating and air. Also at Liberty, we are represented by all 50 states and over 70 countries. So you're guaranteed to be someone uh, from somewhere you've never been before. On campus, we also want to make sure that you are able to have fun. And so first we have Snowflex. It's a year round skiing, sporting and tubing lodge. Uh, then we have coffee house put on by our student activities department. And it's an opportunity for our students to do their favorite musical comedy or dance acts with some really funny videos in between. Uh, we also have convocation. It's the largest weekly gathering of Christian young people in the world. And currently uh, it is being held virtually. But we do have speakers like Simone Biles, Steph Curry, Steve Forbes, uh, Sean Lowe from The Bachelor. Uh, finally, we do have a workout facility with just about anything that you could ask for. Now, our admissions process is a rolling admissions process one, and it all starts with you submitting your application. We are accepting applications from students up to the fall 2023 semester. So for any of my second semester sophomores, you could apply. Now, for the fall 2021 application, we are going to be test optional, but anything beyond that is to be determined. And really, we don't have any hard admissions requirements, meaning you don't have to meet a certain GPA or a test score. We really want to see your trends. We want to see how you did. So send us everything that you have. 
Now, as a student at Liberty, we do want to make sure that you feel supported uh, academically, mentally, spiritually, and with your future in mind. So starting with our College of Applied Studies and Academic Success, we do offer peer-reviewed tutoring services where you can go for additional assistance from other classes. Then if you need additional time taking tests or you want to take a CLEP or an institutional challenge exam, we have a testing center uh, kind of facilitated by the College of Applied Studies as well. We then have our career center, which is there to offer cover letter and resume writing workshops, mock interviews, and career specific coaching and fairs to prepare you for life after college. And then finally, with our Center for Health and Wellness, we do emphasize your wellness by offering multiple wellness initiatives, including mental health and spiritual wellness through counseling services. Now, when you're considering cost, Liberty is in the lower 25% of all private universities. Then to assist with fighting the cost of college, 96% of our students do receive some form of financial aid, including a need-based or merit-based scholarship or grant, outside scholarships, student loans. One example of a merit-based scholarship would be the Liberty Academic Scholarship, where students can qualify for up to $1,750, all the way up to $6,500 um, by just submitting their high school GPA. And then as you can see here, if you do have one of those test options, you can even receive more. And another form of financial aid is considered work study or student work. We are currently holding classes and visits in person. So if you'd like to come see campus, we do have a daily tour. Uh, Experience LU, which is more of a full day event where you can come tour the campus, hear an admissions presentation, have a free lunch, and then talk with the faculty and staff of the program that you're interested in and college for a weekend. I would recommend visiting www.liberty.edu forward slash visit us to read more about college for a weekend just because it's undergone some uh, COVID-19 protocol adjustments. Finally, if you'd like to claim an app fee waiver, you can text that number on the screen, 49596, using the letters JT. And when you do, you'll actually be sent a link directly to your phone. And if you click on it, it'll give you an opportunity to apply for free. But if you do have any questions, please email me at jrtravis at liberty.edu, or while we're all here tonight, drop them in the Q&A section below. But thanks so much for your time. And always remember, go Flames. Awesome, thank you. The next representative is from Illinois Westland University. All right, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Andrew Starnes and I am the regional uh, mission counselor for Illinois Westland for the South. I do live in East Tennessee um, and I am a veteran uh, of the CACRO circuit that we normally uh, would love to be traveling and talking to you all right now in person, um, but hopefully, We'll be through the virtual um, uh, visits and, and events soon so we can get back to in-person um, events that are going on. So I'll talk to you a little bit about Illinois Wesleyan today and how we were recently ranked in the top 10 for job placement among all schools and universities nationally and how we are number one state of Illinois for um, salary after graduation and also how we were the hidden gem of the Midwest. So Illinois Wesleyan, uh, we are a small uh, liberal arts uh, private university located in Bloomington, Illinois. So it's about uh, two and a half hours south of Chicago, about 130,000 residents live in the Bloomington area. So it's a good sized college uh, community. And with our school having 1700 undergrads, you're not gonna see this. You're not gonna see the large lecture hall seating. You're gonna very much get a lot less lecture, more discussion at our school, which is going to be able to help you maximize your value of education by getting your questions answered in person with your professors, uh, making sure that you can connect with your peers. And uh, we are an undergrad only college, so there are no grad students at our school. So it's all about the undergrad experience. So if you wanna take advantage of say research opportunity, almost a fourth of our students are participating in graduate level research at the undergraduate level, which is huge if you wanna go on a course to grad school. Now, IWU is broken up into three main colleges. We have our School of Nursing, with almost two decades of 100% job placement. Um, it is direct admit nursing program. Uh, we have our College of Fine Arts. So we do have um, an incredibly renowned uh, musical theater, uh, School of Theater Arts program. Also our Bachelor of Music um, and our arts programs as well. As well. Um, that uh, allows us to have so much variety on the fine arts with a great liberal arts background. And then of course we have our College of Liberal Arts could contain the majority of our 80 different major minor combinations, um, which really gives you a trap for about everyone in your career path. Um, everything from physics um, to political science to pre-med psychology. Um, there's just so many different things to choose from on the major and minor side. Um, now we do take a lot of pride in diversity and growing diversity at our institution. 
Um, almost a third of our students are students of color and background. We're looking to continue to bring in diverse classes two of our last three years for most diverse in history. We have programs and offices devoted to this area as well, such as our Office of Diversity and Inclusion, commonly referred to as OEI. Um, we have everything from Lavender graduation to our LGBT, LGBTQ plus community um, to our impact pre-orientation programs designed for students of color, make sure they have a place and a voice um, that they know that they can have on campus and making sure we're doing everything we can to be an inclusive environment for all, including also first-generation students. We had almost 30% first-gen students in our last class. So again, we want Illinois Wesleyan to be um, affordable and welcoming so many different people. Um, we have over 120 different student organizations. So again, even though we're uh, not a large university, we pretty much act like one from everything from our organizations to Greek life, sorority, uh, sororities and fraternities, um, to campus events. There's just so many different ways to get involved on campus. Um, never gonna be a dull moment at all. Um, we do have 24 different um, NCAA sports. We are D3 NCAA. Um, so there's just so many different ways to come out, cheer on and participate, have fun with our Titans. We just do so well. Um, in so many different areas of our of our teams, our uh, men's basketball team just won our conference championship um, for the first time in history. And typically, most of our programs are very competitive in our conference and postseason play. We even also have esports as well, so um, there's an opportunity to get recruited for esports and video games um, and earn scholarships that way as well too. So for financial aid. Uh, more than 95% of our students are going to receive funding. So even though we are a private school, don't let that intimidate you. We're going to find ways to try to make the school very affordable, starting with our merit scholarship. Those do go as high as $32,000 renewable each year based on GPA and scores. Our average last year coming in was a 375 GPA, um, 26 ACT, 1210 SAT. So if you're at that range, not only would you be in great shape to be admitted, but also be on the higher side of our scholarship matrix. We are test optional as well right now currently um, to help out and all test optional students still get opportunities for full acceptance and financial aid consideration as well. So again, even though we are a private school, don't let anything about cost intimidate you. Apply, submit your FAFSA, and let us see you through the entire process. So for the next steps for any seniors, our application is still very much open. We are on the Common app. We have our own app um, for our class of 2022 current juniors. That application will go live this coming August. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Again, it's a free application. We make the process very simple for the application and review. And uh, in terms of visiting, we are doing in-person campus visits. So feel free to come up and see the campus if you feel comfortable enough to travel. Um, we're doing in-person campus visits through the spring and summer. And uh, we will have many virtual events coming up as well um, until we can get some travel back to normal. My contact information is up in the top left. Again, my name is Andrew. I do work with all the students from the South. So if you're interested in Illinois Westland, please feel free to reach out to me to my email or my direct line. I'll be glad to help you out. Certainly hope to see you visit the campus. And if you have any questions, again, let me know. Thanks for tuning in. Hope everyone has a great rest of the evening. Thank you. Just a friendly reminder that if you have any questions at all to feel free to submit those through the Q&A. Our representatives are here to answer any questions that you have about any part of the process. And if you have um, any specific questions, please be sure to include the school name um, in your question as well. The next representative is from East Georgia State College. All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Nick Kelch, and I am the Associate Vice President for External Campuses at East Georgia State College. And I'm also the director of our um, Augusta location. And uh, thank you again for allowing us to take part uh, in this wonderful presentation format. Um, I'm sure many of you may say, well, I've never even heard of East Georgia State College. Where, uh, where is that? Um, I have here a map. Of course, we're in the state of Georgia. We actually have three campus locations. Um, our first location is uh, in Swainsboro, which is where our main campus is. And then we have our uh, two branch campuses or offsite locations, uh, one in Augusta, Georgia, which you can see here on the map. And then we other, oh, thank you so much. And we have another that is uh, in Statesboro, Georgia. 
uh, which is connected with Georgia Southern, which I'm going to tell you about that in just a few minutes. And then we have our main campus in Swainsboro, Georgia. And of course, we have numerous online offerings as well. Uh, so let me start by telling you about our social degree programs that we have at our main campus in Swainsboro. You can see all these here on the screen. Um, now you might say, well, I don't see the program of study that I would like to uh, pursue. Uh, well, one of the things I do want to uh, tell you all about is um, our transfer pathways as well as our core curriculum degree. Um, no matter what four-year school you go to, no matter what four-year degree you plan to pursue, uh, your first year, year and a half, up to two years, you're going to take those general education courses, and a lot of our students end up coming to East Georgia State College, uh, any of our campus locations, and knocking out all of those uh, core requirements or uh, going after one of our associate degree programs or transfer pathways. Uh, so they'll start with us and then continue on and finish up their four-year degree at their four-year school of choice. Uh, that is why we have our tagline, go east, go anywhere. And we also have a few bachelor and certificate programs as well for those that might be interested in digital photography. Uh, we have a certificate program for that. We have a few of the uh, bachelor of arts, and bachelor of science degrees that you can see here on the screen. Also, uh, if you know anyone that uh, may be a registered nurse that already has an associate's degree uh, and might be interested in um, uh, earning their bachelor's degree, we do have an online RN uh, to be in program as well. Uh, so I'm going to tell you about our Swainsboro campus uh, uh, to start off. Uh, this is what we would call our main campus. Uh, all the processing uh, happens there at the main campus uh, for the offsite locations. Uh, we have all the, you know, the bells and whistles of a four-year school. Um, we've got the uh, uh, junior athletics. Uh, we have our baseball uh, uh, men's and women's basketball uh, team and softball team uh, at our main campus. We have uh, two dorm uh, facilities. Uh, they're, um, you know, four bedroom, two bathroom apartment style um, with community rooms, computer labs, um, laundry, uh, laundry rooms and, and study spaces for students. Uh, of course, we have our meal plans uh, that you can take part in. We have plenty of clubs and organizations for you uh, to join at our main campus in Swainsboro. And then we have our relationship with Augusta University. Um, Augusta University is located uh, in Augusta, Georgia, and we literally have an offsite campus that is on Augusta University's Somerville campus. Uh, so students will actually pay our tuition, which uh, we have one of the lowest tuitions uh, within the university system of Georgia. Uh, we also offer in-state tuition for South Carolina residents, North Carolina residents, and a few other states as well through our border uh, state waiver. Um, but they'll pay our tuition rate, uh, but then they'll have access to all of the Augusta University amenities and activities because they pay the student fee rate of Augusta University. So literally, uh, when you're on campus, you know, no one knows whether you're an Augusta University student or an East Georgia uh, State College Augusta student. And we have a smooth transfer over to Augusta University. As I stated before, uh, no matter what four-year school you go to, uh, what four-year degree you want to pursue, those first couple of years, you're going to take those core classes. And we do such a great job of helping students start their college career that we're actually embedded onto these other offsite. Uh, we, we have these other offsite locations that are embedded onto these uh, four-year colleges, such as Augusta University and Georgia Southern, which is uh, our partner school in Statesboro, Georgia. Now, uh, one really cool fact is that we have our own set alone Statesboro campus, uh, but starting next year, we'll actually be embedded onto the Georgia Southern campus, just like we are with Augusta University. So it's pretty much the same exact um, scenario and situation with Augusta University and Georgia Southern. Our students can start with us and make that smooth transition over to Georgia Southern and finish up their four-year degree. In regards to applying to the college, um, you can go online and do our uh, online application. Uh, and then we ask for your high school transcript. There is a $20 application fee. You don't have to pay it right at front, uh, but you can uh, pay that later on unless you have a uh, fee waiver. I'm gonna talk about the placement exam scores in just a few moments, as we all know with COVID and everything, um, you know, those have kind of, been alleviated. However, we actually don't even require SAT or ACT scores in order to be admitted to the college, but I'll tell you about that in just a moment. Uh, one thing that we have here at East Georgia State College is we do have what's called learning support classes. So students will come in and take their English 1101 and their first uh, math course, whether it be quantitative skills or college algebra, depending on what you major in. Um, and there's also a support class that goes along with that class. Um, you don't have to take that one credit hour support class if you have an ACT or an SAT score or an acupuncture test score that actually exempts you out of that course. Uh, but with the COVID adjustments, as you can see here on the screen, 
there. Uh, we do look at the GPA now as opposed to looking at AccuPlacer and SAT scores uh, for this uh, coming year, uh, but we'll go back to the scores uh, starting fall 2022. Um, again, we have one of the lowest tuitions uh, within the university system of Georgia or in the whole state of Georgia. And again, you will be able to apply for in-state tuition. We have plenty of scholarship opportunities. One in particular is our Corel Scholars um, Scholarship, which is for students that uh, attend our main campus in Swainsboro. It's a four-year renewable degree uh, for up to $5,000 a year that we would love to give you more information about. Again, please be sure that you do your FAFSA as soon as possible, no matter what college you want to go to. I think I can speak for all the recruiters on the line. Doing the FAFSA is extremely important and don't wait. All right. Uh, we've got our contact information here. You can learn more about each of our three campuses. So if you go to our website, www.ega.edu, you can send us an email to admissions at ega.edu, or you can give our main campus a, a ring. And thank you for your time and go Bobcats. Thank you, very helpful information. The next representative is from Co Covenant College. Thank you so much, just bear with me for one second. Excellent, all right, now we're presenting. Um, anyways, hello everyone, my name is Paul LeMay and I'm an admissions counselor here at uh, Covenant College. Um, Covenant College is located on a mountain, as you can see from that picture, such a gorgeous place to uh, study and learn. Um, but we're only lo located only 15 minutes away from uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee, which is an up and coming, beautiful, flourishing town. It was actually called the most outdoorsy city in America by Travel Magazine. Um, but along with a beautiful location, I think what happens at Covenant is also just as beautiful. Um, our motto is in all things Christ preeminent, and we are an intentionally small Christian liberal arts school um, that are looking for students who are prepared to go on a journey, um, a journey to answer two questions. Um, the first one is, who do I want to become? Um, and the second one is, who is God calling me to become? Um, and that's the goal of Covenant College, to prepare um, young Christians who are prepared to be leaders in the church and in the world. Um, so where are you going to be studying? As I mentioned, um, this is Chattanooga, Tennessee. In the background, you can see Lookout Mountain. Um, you see the Tennessee River winding through Chattanooga. Um, there's so many fun things to do in Chattanooga. Um, we have the Lookouts, which is a, a minor league baseball team. We have the Hunter Art Museum. We also have the largest uh, freshwater aquarium um, in, in uh, Tennessee, uh, in the, George, uh, in the uh, Tennessee Aquarium. Um, so a really great place to explore. Lots of great coffee shops, lots of great restaurants. Um, but who are we as an institution? I think first off, just talking with about demographics, um, even though we are a small institution, we are well represented by 42 states and 29 different country, uh, 29 different countries. Um, and 69% of our students come from out of state. Um, so I know you guys are from North and South Carolina. We are very popular with North and South Carolinians. Um, and kind of to give you an idea of, of how far we are away, um, we're only five hours from Columbia, um, four hours from Greensville, um, South Carolina, and in North Carolina, only five and a half hours from Charlotte and seven hours from Raleigh. So we are, are, we are within a day drive away from you. Um, but along with being well represented by um, states and countries, we are also a top-notch liberal arts university. Um, so um, the World News and, and Report ranks us as one of the top liberal arts um, colleges in the country, and only five of those were in the CCCU, um, which is the Coalition for uh, Christian Colleges and Universities. Um, but what does it look like um, to be a student here, right? Um, so the average student is going to have a 3.46 GPA to a 3.95 GPA. I mean, you can see the test scores on the screen. Um, we were test optional, um, and we're also hoping to be test optional for the class of 2021 for juniors out there. Um, but another great thing is 99% of our students um, receive financial aid. Um, we do also accept the Common App. Um, but more importantly, I think talking about the class size is so very important um, because we are only, as I said, we only have 978 students on campus and a 13 to one student to professor ratio. Um, and we really do believe that relationships um, go hand in hand with learning. Um, and you are gonna be building really strong relationships with professors. Um, so moving on to 
your experience. I think the, the first pillar of Covenant College is going to be academic excellence. As I said, we are a top-notch liberal arts university, and we want to get you the education that's going to help you take that next step. But along with that, we are very intentional about integrating our faith. Um, so if you're sitting out there and you say, hey, I really do take my faith seriously, um, then you want to go to a college that also takes that same faith seriously. And we really want to build spiritual formation there. Uh, Chaplain Lowe, he says it's important to encounter Jesus together. Um, and that's the type of community that we try to foster on campus. Um, but along with that academic excellence and spiritual formation, we also want to develop you as professionals. Um, we have the Center for Calling and Career that's going to help you with interview training, writing a resume, finding that next step, either that if that's grad school or going on to, to finding a job. Um, we do a really great job doing both of those. 92% um, of our students get into the grad school of their choice. Um, and 95% of our students are employed six months after grad graduating um, and in a job that they want to pursue, right? Because if you're going to get a degree, you want to pursue a job within your degree, right? Um, so one thing also to highlight right now are some of the majors that we do really well. Um, Pre-med is one thing that we do really well at Covenant. Um, even though we're a liberal arts uh, school, um, we help students prepare for that MCAT. And 85% of our pre-med students get accepted into medical school their very first time. Um, and that's two times the national average. So if you want to study in a intentionally Christian environment and prepare for med school, School, Covenant's a great choice. Another great uh, program that we have is our education program. Goodness, and I could go on and on about the education program, but we get you into the classroom your very first semester freshman year so that you can figure out, you know, is the Lord calling me to be a teacher? Um, but we have um, over 60 different majors, minors, and concentrations to choose from. Um, and if you want to ask more questions, I'll have my information at the end of this presentation if you want to learn more about those majors. Um, so moving on to student life. So what what is it going to be like, you know, you know, boots on the ground, you know, who, who are going to be the people that you're going to be interacting with? And I think this phrase really does help you, you realize you know, who we are as a campus, to know and also to be known. Um, and we have an intentional and engaging community. Um, it's very tight knit. Uh, goodness, I have so many stories, but you know, one guy who really represented Covenant's community was Jay Finlayson. Um, he was a senior, I was a freshman, um, and he was able to really help me acclimate um, to Covenant's culture. Um, we have fun campus events as well. So clubs and dances, ways to get connected and involved. Uh, Covenant's a great place where you're not only gonna build friendships for four years um, before a lifetime. Um, and then lastly, um, you know, we talked about, you know, clubs, intramurals, and varsity athletics, which is where I'd like to end. Um, Covenant Athletics. Um, we are highly competitive in uh, the NCAA Division III. Um, we have 30, uh, 23 varsity and junior varsity teams. Um, we have the best winning percentage in our conference. Um, we have some of the best academics when it comes to campus. You know, our, our athletes are extremely academic. Um, but, you know, Ultimately, we want you to come join us, you know, come on that journey so you can become who God has called you to be. And here's my contact information if you want to keep in touch. Um, but it's my job to help you guys navigate this, um, this time of your life as you try to discover uh, what's going to be a good fit. Um, so thank you so much for listening. And uh, I look forward to working with some of you. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Before we hear from our next two representatives, I do want to send another friendly reminder uh, to go ahead and submit your questions through the Q&A. Um, our representatives are here and ready to um, answer any questions that you have throughout the presentations. The next representative is from Penn State University. All righty, give me one second here. I'm going to start the presentation. Um, hi, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Jordan. I am the admissions representative from Penn State. Uh, very excited to be chatting with you all today. Um, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Penn State. Uh, so Penn State is a top 1% world-class university. We were recently ranked in the top 50th out of 18,000 institutions globally. Um, this uh, is not just due to our academics. It's also uh, a little bit of um, our resources that we provide our students and then also the support that we provide our students on campus. Uh, and this is evident in those numbers right below there. There's an 85% graduation rate, which is 25% above the national average. And then we also have a 93% retention rate, which if you don't know what retention rate is, uh, it basically means that students are coming in for their first year and 93% of those students are choosing to stay for their second year. So uh, it tells us as staff members that not only are you finding success at Penn State, uh, hence the graduation rate, 
but you're also enjoying your time at Penn State as well. Lots of different other resources to look into here. Uh, we do have a top ranked career services, so lots of different job placement opportunities. We have a really big alumni network. There's 700,000 living alumni uh, that are connected with that career services. Uh, we also have 300 study abroad uh, programs that are available to you. Uh, 16 to one student to faculty ratio. We are a very large institution. We have 70,000 undergraduate students across our Commonwealth. Uh, but we also provide lots of opportunities to keep you all busy. So uh, undergraduate research is a really great opportunity for you. Uh, we did a lot about $900 million in undergraduate research. One thing that people do not know about Penn State is we do have 20 different campuses. So I am housed at the University Park campus, which is right in the center there. Um, that has 46,000 students. That is our largest campus. Um, but if you're looking to kind of gain a little bit more of a smaller size, we have other campuses that range in size from about 500 students all the way to 5,000 students. Uh, so if you are looking for that, it is the same education, the same transcript. You receive the same education as you would uh, for a student that applies to or that goes to University Park. Uh, it's just a matter of size and then obviously location where they're geographically dispersed. Uh, if you're not really sure or you're kind of wanting to start small and then grow, uh, you are able to do what Penn State calls the two plus two program where you could spend two years at any campus of your choosing and then you could complete your degree at a different campus of your choosing. We would just ask that you make sure that that campus offers your major. Uh, not all of our campuses offer all majors, so it's really evident to take a peek at what you're interested in and see uh, where that camp or where that major is able to be completed. Speaking of programs, uh, we do have 275 academic programs for you to choose from. Now I know that's a lot, uh, but we have about 13 different colleges where all these programs are housed. So uh, for example, I'm an alumni, I graduated from uh, the College of Health and Human Development with a major in Human Development and Family Studies. So you basically get to apply to that academic college where there's a bunch of like majors in there. So if you're looking to double major, switch your major, it's fairly easy to switch like majors, which is a really cool process at Penn State. Um, we also have something called the Division of Undergraduate Studies. If you're not quite sure what you wanna do, no worries, you just apply into our Division of Undergraduate Studies and you have a wealth of support there that is available to you. I always tell students, I hope you're not gonna be in the classroom 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, we do have over 1200 different clubs and organizations for you to choose from. Uh, these organizations range from club sports, arts and theater. We have various different Greek life organizations. We have lots of different opportunities for you uh, to get involved and have a voice on campus as well. Uh, in the background of this picture, you'll actually notice that this is uh, the largest student run philanthropy in the entire world. This is our Penn State Dance Marathon. Uh, this is, again, the largest student run philanthropy. They donate money to kids with pediatric cancer. This year, they raised about $10 million uh, for kids with pediatric cancer, which was really remarkable. Penn State was one of the first institutions to implement diversity and inclusion into their strategic plan. So this starts and stems from our students, and then it also goes all the way through to our faculty, staff, and community members and affiliates. So a uh, really cool environment to be in. You have lots of opportunities to have a voice on campus and to also express yourself on campus. All right, application process. So four things that we need from you, we will need an online application through the Common App, the Coalition App, or directly through our website. We have no preference how you apply, uh, just that you apply through one of those. Once you click submit, you'll be prompted to create a My Penn State profile. This is going to be your home base for all things Penn State. So it's going to have your checklist on what we've received from you. It's going to have your decision posted here as well. This is also where you'll fill out your self-reported academic record, so your SRAR. Uh, this is where you report directly to us your ninth through 11th grade grades and then your 12th grade schedule. Uh, we're no longer accepting transcripts upon the initial review, so you will need to do this self-reported academic record. It's really easy, guys. I've done it already myself, so it's really easy. Uh, last but not least, we will need a SAT or ACT score. Uh, this is test op optional, excuse me. Uh, so if you elect to submit your test scores, you would be required to submit them. If you elect not to submit your test scores, you do not need to submit them. Uh, we did decide to go test optional until the year 2023. So we have lots of time there. And last but not least, I'll show you your estimate of eligibility at Penn State. This is our middle 50% of our current first year cohort. 
Uh, so you're looking at, again, GPA, SAT, ACT scores. Uh, these are not minimums, they're not cutoffs. They've already changed this year. So um, just take a peek. And again, there's always a space for you at Penn State. Thank you all. Very helpful. I'm excited to introduce our last, but certainly not least representative from Kennesaw State University. All right, give me one second here, guys. All right, so hello, everybody. My name is Abby Evans, and I am one of the freshman admissions counselors here at Kennesaw State. I am over the Carolinas, so I am your admissions counselor. So I am here today to tell you who we are, what we do, and how you can become a KSU OWL. So as far as uh, quick facts about the university, so we did have a record breaking enrollment of 41,000 plus students as of fall 2020. Um, and that accomplishment actually knocked us up to the second largest public institution in the state of Georgia. So obviously with that many students, we wanna make sure that you guys are getting involved. We don't want you to just go to your dorm room and then go to classes. Um, so we do have 300 plus student organizations and clubs on campus, which does include honor societies and Greek life. Our student faculty ratio is 21 to 1. So for every 21 of you guys, there is going to be a faculty member present. Um, if any of you guys are super into sports, want to get involved in sports, we are NCAA Division 1, 18 teams between our men's and women's, so football, basketball, baseball, um, anything like that. If you're not looking to play on a D1 level, uh, but you were super into a specific sport, we do have intramural and club sports as well. And then my most important fact, in my opinion, I want to make sure that you guys are eating. Um, so we are ranked five nationally for our food. So we do have two dining halls, one on our Kennesaw campus, one on our Marietta campus. And that does not include our Chick-fil-A, Moe's, Starbucks, things like that. So as it says in our name, we are located in Kennesaw, Georgia, um, but just to keep it in simplified terms, we are in the metro Atlanta area. So you see us at the top right there. We do have two campuses, Kennesaw and Marietta. They're only seven miles apart from each other, so it doesn't feel like you're going out of your way. And as far as the surrounding area when it comes to the metro Atlanta place, not only are we going to highlight the professional growth that you can get involved in, so internships, co-ops, things like that, um, but it's something for you guys to have like fun to do. So we are right next to Truist Park Stadium, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Not sure if any of you guys tuning in are big Atlanta sports fans. Um, Home Depot. We're surrounded by Fortune 500 companies. Hartsville Jackson Airport, obviously, since you guys are out of state, you want to come fly over to come visit and then Walking Dead filming, which some of our students have gotten the opportunity to be extras in The Walking Dead. So this is really to highlight the booming film and entertainment industry that is happening in the state of Georgia. So you did hear me mention Kennesaw and Marietta. So our Kennesaw campus is our largest campus. Um, this is also our liberal arts campus. So everything that you see on the screen will be housed here on the Kennesaw campus. Bagwell College of Education, so kindergarten all the way up to 12th grade. Uh, we actually are the top producers of Georgia teachers here. Coles College of Business, so marketing, management, professional sales. All of our business degrees are actually internationally accredited. So if you didn't want to work in the US, you wanted to work in a totally different country, you can do that because your degree holds with that accreditation. Our Norman J. Rado College of Humanities and Social Sciences. So this is a lot of my ologies, I like to say. So psychology, sociology, criminology. Um, our School of Communications and Media is also going to fall under here. Our College of Science and Math. So this is a pretty self-explanatory. Our biology program actually has concentrations in pre-med, pre-vet, pre-dental, and others as well. So we gear you towards that specific career field. College of the Arts, so this is Theater Performance Studies, um, our School of Music, and if you're super into sculpting, painting, drawing, anything like that, it's going to fall under our College of the Arts. Then our Wellstar College of Health and Human Services, so this is the home of our nursing program, so we're actually the top nor uh, nursing program in North Georgia. Um, this also includes our exercise science, sports management, sports medicine, and then human services. And then our Marietta campus. So this is actually our smaller campus. However, this is our STEM school. So our College of Architecture and Construction Management. Um, so we are actually the, uh, with our architecture program, we're the only professional and accredited architecture program in the state of Georgia. 
So super big accomplishment when it comes there. College of Computing and Software Engineering. So this is computer science, video game design, and cybersecurity. And we are the number one cybersecurity program in the state of Georgia. And I promise you're not seeing triple. We did cover these next three in the previous slide, but as far as these majors under these colleges, they do trickle out on both campuses. So depending on which one you're choosing, it depends on where your major classes will be. Then our Southern Polytechnic College of Engineering and Engineering Technology. We are actually the second largest um, engineering school in the state of Georgia. So if you're looking for engineering um, and want to come out of state, definitely look our way there. Now let's talk about freshman admissions. So KSU is a non-holistic university, which means we are not going to ask for a recommendation letter, essay, resume. The only things that you see on the screen will be what we look at. If you meet our requirements, you're in. So our application, we are located on gafutures.org. We are not on the Common App, so please make sure that you're going to that specific website um, for our seniors. So high school transcript, for any of you guys that might be taking dual enrollment, I'll also need your college transcript for wherever you're taking your dual enrollment classes. For my seniors specifically, test scores have been a little funky this year. So we went test optional for the semesters of 2021. So here's the breakdown. If you have a 2.6 academic GPA, you do not need to submit test scores. If you have a 2.5 GPA, you will need to submit either SAT or ACT with the qualifying scores, which are down at the bottom of the screen. Now, when I mean academic GPA, we are only looking at as far as those specific things. So be sure to look at that. My freshman deadline, so fall of 2021 is June 1st. Please do not wait until June 1st to get everything put together. Scholarships, so since you guys are coming from out of state, we do have an out of state tuition waiver. So you go from out of state tuition to in state tuition, as well as merit based, need based, and um, depending on your specific major, you have those as well. Housing is really great. You get your own bedroom. The only thing you have to share with your roommates, the bathroom. So super uh, cool as far as those options. Since you guys are all the way over there and I'm all the way over here, we do have a virtual tour as well. So feel free to come visit us in the comfort and safety of your own home. And then our contact information. So you see our phone number, our email address and our website. I did put my email address down at there since I am your admissions counselor. So feel free to talk to us whenever you like. And thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Um, all great information and I'm excited to now pivot us to our Q&A portion of, our, uh, of the session. And so um, I'll ask at this time if all presenters can turn on their cameras, unmute themselves. Um, we do have limited time, so we'll make sure that to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to respond to keep your responses brief. But this question is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? Again, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And if we can uh, go ahead and get started in the order in which you all presented it. All right, uh, my quick tip for you guys as you go through the college admissions process, stay organized. This is a great life hack or like life advice. Stay as organized as possible. Create a separate email for like, you know, for your applications, for your scholarships, just be as organized as possible because the last thing you want to do is like call another school, another school, and that would be awkward. So uh, be super, super, super organized. I would definitely say, um, you know, just get to know your admission counselor uh, for any of the schools you are considering. We're here to make your life hopefully a little bit easier through this process, um, especially again, if you are considering a smaller school, a lot of those counselors will really get to know you one on one help your family through financial aid and the critical, critical next steps. So just uh, stay in touch with them and, and, and start with them if you have any questions or, or any concerns. I agree with everything that's been said wholeheartedly. And I would just also throw out there, um, make sure you have your finances in order. Make sure you do your FAFSA uh, as soon as possible. You can list up to 10 schools on your FAFSA. Um, so once you, you know, even if you're not 100% sure which school you want to go to, you can at least go ahead and get that part. Uh, knocked out and you can list again up to 10 schools uh, so once you finally make your decision at least the school that you plan on going to already has your financial information 
No, excellent advice. And uh, my advice would be proofread, 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 and then proofread again. Um, Because, you know, you are being represented in your application. Um, And schools are looking for top notch students, and especially spelling errors, silly mistakes, eliminate those that you have the very best chance um, in getting those scholarships, getting accepted, um, so that you can take those next steps in your future. So that would be my recommendation. Awesome, awesome advice. Uh, My recommendation or advice to you all is keep an open mind. Uh, There are a lot of really, really great schools out there uh, and some that you may not have heard of. Uh, So definitely keep an open mind and there's lots of really great opportunities out there. You just have to uh, try to open it up and search for them a little bit further. I'm gonna try really hard to not sound like a broken record, Um, but my original piece of advice was to tour your campuses. However, considering what's going on, um, a lot of schools have been more accommodating as far as virtual tours. Um, So if you wanna check those out, you really wanna know, you can see all these pretty pictures, but you wanna make sure that you're a right fit um, for these specific schools. Um, So if you are able to visit, please make sure to visit just so you can see and feel it for yourself. Um, Otherwise, do everything early, as early as possible. Do not wait until the last minute. I can't, and I'm pretty sure everyone cannot stress it enough. Um, So do that as well. Thank you. You guys kept it brief, so I appreciate that. Um, And uh, thank you again for all that wonderful information, the great advice. It's always so helpful. Um, And uh, we just, again, it's always great to hear from those who work directly at the respective institutions. Um, And so we thank you to our representatives for being here and thank you all for joining us. Um, As we close, there'll be a very quick four question survey that will appear on your browser. If you don't mind taking a moment to fill that out for us, your feedback will be greatly appreciated. Uh, Feel free to sign up for more sessions or more sessions happening um, and to hear from all the great, wonderful representatives. Um, And lastly, this recording will be available a week from today at strivescan.com backslash Carolinas. Thank you and have a great night.